hawk just weighed completely. Brakatia Hawa, Brakatia Oshai, Brakatia Hawa, Brakatia Oshai, Brakatia Hawa, Brakatia Hawa, Bashim Oshai, Bashim, Shakudash. The belongs to the apostles and the elders of Great Mills on True Well. I want to say salutations to the hopeful elect out there, you Akim, Sadakim, that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. On the preacher man, this week's topic, I'm going to be, uh, I am backing up the, situ uh, the situation with my experience in the truth concerning, you know, the truth and the woman. Uh, uh, you know, when you read the, the New Testament, the Apostle Paul, there's times he says, I speak as a man. I Meaning he said, he, there's times when he was putting together these epistles. And what we do today with these videos is no different than what we were doing back then, but wasn't with those men, it's just epistles. But this time, it's videos, right? And some of the things that he mentioned when he said he speaks as a man, he's speaking from his personal experience. Well, from my experience, I would say do this, I would say do that. It doesn't mean this is a law or anything, but this is just my experience, right? Um, so I want to do the same thing today with, you know, the truth and woman and you know, line up with scriptures. And, um, you know, the, 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 the uh, elder out there in Mississippi, Zach, you know, he was saying pretty much, you know, some of these women, you, they, you know, you, they come across you, uh, so you could just put curses on them, and that's their judgment, which is true. Not just women, but people in general. You know, you have dealt with people in this thing, and they were just complete demons. You know, and you ask the Lord, uh, you pray to the, the Lord, and he has the angels go out and pronounce judgment upon these people, which shows you that this truth does come with some form of power, right? So when you put up a, a curse, you're given, you ask the most high to give the angels charge to do things, right? Same thing too with a blessing. You ask the spirits to, you know, do certain things for certain individuals. So we do have that power, and that power stems from faith. You know, through faith we do all things, right? Now going back to the point, right? Um, I'm gonna give you uh, so brothers can sort of understand. Um, I, I'm a brother that I, I don't struggle with women at all. You know, brothers that know me know, you know, I create the dating apps and I can run it up crazy. Know, good looking woman, beautiful woman. And I'm going to tell you, brothers, what that creates is a sense of entitlement, right? Not the same as pride, but a sense of entitlement, meaning you are less willing to tolerate certain things when it comes to women. Why? Because you have an abundance of options, right? Now, the same thing applies with women, but it's on steroids. You know, I have a short tolerance, right? There's certain things. Hey, brothers know me personally. They'd be like, damn, you kicked at the curb for that. I'm like, yeah, bro, I don't put up with that shit, you know? But here's here's the thing, though. Women have that self-validation, that, that consistency of, of constant warmth from men. Stuck here. They have that they have that same sort of consistency for men. Um, I'm elite, and I'm, I'm from my heart. I hope I'm wrong about that. Stuck here, brothers. They have that same sort of uh, um, desired uh, options for men, but on, on steroids. And with that sense of entitlement, you put up with less. So women, that's how come they operate they, the way they operate. Even though a chick could be extremely unattractive, obese, overweight, as long as there's validation, you'll be entitled because you have, an, have options. Now, I'll tell you this. When my well dries up, right, and we all go through this as men, brothers out there that, you know, the Lord have it to wear woman on a thing for you to get, right? It's very easy, right? When the well dries up, what happens, brothers? Your, your standards drop, right? You're willing to put up with more because you're trying to get laid, correct? And the same thing applies with women. When women have limited options, all right, their standards become to drop. They become, become to accept um, more things. Now, where does this tying with the Bible? Well, let's look at the scriptures, right? The scriptures speak about a bill of divorce, right? And pretty much if a woman does not please you, you have the right to divorce her and, and get rid of her, but she in turn gets nothing. Flip side in America, she could take half your things, right? There's an incentive. There's financial incentives to, to break the contract, the agreement, whereas in scriptures, there's incentives to keep the agreement. Hell, Dr. Dre's woman took over, what, $50 million and they signed a prenup. So, in marriage, you know, there's a sense of scare. You 
men do things out of nature because a fear of that divorce, right? That fear of the divorce, the breakup, the hell that comes with it, the, 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 the uh, possibility of losing the kids, all these such stuff, stuff <clears throat> weigh heavy on a man's mind when he commits to a woman. Now that same fear and dread that you have as a, as a man, when we're running the world according to the Bible, that's upon women at all times. In our custom, in ancient customs, all right, the woman, when she was uh, married, all the gifts that she had, she wore upon her, her jewelry, the coins, all of that. She always had it on her because if a man said, look, it's time for you to go, all right, she had to just leave with everything she had. And it's not the same as here in the Western culture, culture where you could just leave a man and go to the next one. Hell, you could go to the hundred and a woman would still be desired by certain men. No, in the ancient world, it was shunned upon. So we've seen the way that the way the scriptures are run, where you put tight restrictions upon women, you have the the uh, the relationship really um, geared towards the men's benefit. It, it tends to last longer. Why? Because the most high deals with wisdom. The, the, this ultimate wisdom is found in the scriptures. And you do have certain societies that... Um, <clears throat> render a system similar to how we ran our scriptures, uh, how we ran our system according to the scriptures, right? And look at what those societies are willing to do to keep that system. You have Ishmael that is willing to strap a bomb, blow himself up before he has his culture and religion and ways conform to Western culture. That says a lot. How many men out there are willing to blow themselves up so they women can continue being hoes and harlots, right? So you see that the, the way that the Bible has things set up, all right, it's more conducive to a longer family, stable society when men have the leverage. There was a, there, when I was looking at the customs as well, there was a video, there was this Edomite, she was studying all the customs that we kept and the customs in the Middle East and stuff, and she was uh, telling how a woman used to sit, like back in the ancient world, how they wouldn't sit at the same level as the men. Man, their stool would be a little bit smaller, uh, shorter because and you know it wasn't you wouldn't be at the same eye level as, as men right hell hell man look at uh, you know even in a, even in a society you know walking side by side with your woman is not something that was practiced in the ancient world there was a there was a distance between men and women that's how come when you know lot when lot was leaving Sodom and Gomorrah and his wife looked back how the hell would he know because there was a distance between them they weren't walking hand in hand that, you see, that's like that Western sort of thinking being implemented in the scriptures. Remember, it's just, we was we had a completely different custom, Eastern ways, Eastern traditions, and it was different. You know what I'm saying? Men and women roles were completely uh, uh, different than it was here. You know, in the most traditional sense, right? So, in in, in this society. Um, I said, okay, going back to what I was saying, that same fear and dread that was upon. Um, that's upon us when um, a man when they get married to a woman because of the fear what that could happen the same thing was upon a woman and that needs to be applied all right look speaking as a man speaking from my experiences now right you always want to give a woman no matter how much you love her a bit of uncertainty I don't know why women are sick and defensive, brothers. I don't get it, but that's what they're attracted to. When there's always a bit of fear that this guy might go, they'll, they'll, they won't switch up on you. When you give them your all, when you give them everything, that's when they begin to lose interest. I, look, man, that's just how it goes, man. You know what I'm saying? All my relationships, I tell you this much, man. I, I come straight with a woman. Look, I'm going to be fucking other girls. You know, you can either take it or leave it. I'm going to be fucking other girls, but you're the one. Now, that in the back of their mind, that you know that I could, that this guy could potentially still be banging something better, and you gotta let them know that look, I, I, I get bad chicks. It ain't, it ain't a big deal. That sense of uncertainty that like this nigga could go, it keeps them attracted. Cause look at the guys, look at the guys that you know you watch the man with fierce thing, right? Look at the men that are popping all the chicks according to you know what they the data they bring out. It's the guys that the women don't have a certainty that they could have, man. You know. As much as women say they want the nice guy, and it should be this way, traditionally it should be this way in, in the sense of um, if a man is an, is an upright man doing his thing, you know what I'm saying, and he finds a beautiful woman, he has, he's entitled to, you know, if he wants to treat her this way and that way, but guess what, a woman like that could take advantage, and, 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 and that same scarcity mindset that, that, that uh, in fear, all right, that we have 
come into the marriage, all right, it works against you, man. All right, it works against you. You know, when they when they see that you are afraid and you do timid things and you're easy to easy to control, it inherently makes them feel like they're more in the masculine role. So this is why the scripture says in the book of Isaiah, show the eternal of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Potter's clay is not esteemed. Right? It's fucking clay. It's dirt. It's not esteemed. And eventually it's broken. Same thing with the so-called white man's policies, man. Alright? He's the one that well, correction. The most I used him, alright? Because the scripture says I will put a new thing in the earth and man shall surpass the woman. Okay? Which is new. Right? And the scripture says there's no, no new thing under the sun, right? So the Mosai, how did the Mosai do that? The Mosai used the so-called white man, feminism, to use as a feminist, feminism agenda, and of course programming, all right, you have to use the media, as that dude Anton LaVey said, the former head of the Church of Satan, and witchcraft. And what people don't understand is they think witchcraft is putting a goddamn cat's head and stirring it in a pot with a chicken foot. Witchcraft is repetition. You know what I'm saying? That's how you mold somebody's mind. The same way the scriptures do it on the right hand, the left hand do it the same. If you use repetition, constant repetition, constant repetition, and mold the brain from a young age, that that that's you molding a mind and creating a puppet and you being the puppeteer. You know what I'm saying? That's how things could be done in righteousness as well. Because the scripture says, teach, you know, your, your sons and your daughters the law from that youth. You're supposed to mold them repetitiously from that youth to mold them into a certain direction. So-called white man does that on the left-hand side. All right? We've seen tons of images um, from your movies or you got goddamn female 007s and women kicking man's ass and um, independence, all that type of shit. You know, sex in the city, you just all those types of, 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 of these different ways of how women should be anti-scriptural, all right, has been propagated throughout the years, all right, and it's and it's become something very destructive. Now you have a now you have a generation, all right, you have a generation where men, where women have so much power, all right, and, and 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 it shows that they're not meant to lead, they're not meant to choose men because this is what you're gonna have. You're just gonna have hookup culture, all right. Think about it like this. If men have the ability to have sex with whoever they want, because at the end of the day, men have sex with who they can. Women are the one that have sex with who they want. If men could 100% fuck who they wanted, we'd all be fucking the same kind of girls. Slim, in shape, fat asses, very great bodies. Them fat chicks, them ugly chicks, all right? Because really, we just care about looks, all right? For the most part, they wouldn't be getting any play. We'd be going after the same type of girls, right? So women now with these abundance of options, thanks to these date naps, with the date naps are honestly they wicked, man, because they they incentivize adultery. That's what they do. You know, and I'm telling you as a as a as a as a brother, as a man that has success with these apps. I get on the apps, I can run it up easy, you know? Well not let me say easy, but I could, you know, relatively it's it's not hard for me. And I'm telling you straight up that shit is wicked because what it does is you have these abundance of women and you run it through them. You get pissed off, you kick them to the curb, but we shouldn't be, it shouldn't be like that according to the scriptures, man. When you deal with the woman, according to the scriptures, all right, she's supposed to be a wife, even if you take it by force. You see? Even if you took it by force, you took on a responsibility, man. This whole hookup cultures and running through 100 bodies and shit, it's completely off, man. It's not how the Lord wanted it to be. The Lord wanted when you deal with the woman, that woman is yours, and in return, she becomes an asset to your life. What is happening is these women are not assets to men's life. They're liabilities, man. Where they want your money, your time, and your resources. All right? Some of them don't even put out. And when they put out, you're like, wait a minute. You're not offering me more than that. So I'm going to treat you just like that. And then she wants to leave because you treat her just like that. She's offering nothing more than box. You treat her like, look, you have you offer nothing more than box. And she gets offended and, does, and do the dumbest thing a woman could do. Leave a man that cheats for another man. It's completely stupid, man. You know? So they come across a man of the Lord with this already twisted mindset. And the thing is, the thing is, the scriptures are so great because we have brothers. Sometimes brothers do get, you know, run around by a woman even though they got the scriptures. But the scriptures at least warn you. You know what I'm saying? They warn you have an idea, you have some sort of understanding from the apostles and the elders and brothers speaking from their experience. You have you like the scriptures, quote unquote, makes you red pill by default. It makes you aware to the truth of and tendency of women. Right? 
but it's 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 it's, not, it's completely different than knowing it and experiencing it. You know what I'm saying? So that's how come an individual might have the truth, might have the scriptures, all right, and still and know the natures of women and still get wrapped up in the in the, in the, in the pussy whipped, if you will. You still get yanked out. No, 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 the natures on it and still get yanked out because they haven't experienced many women. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the, the, the first time you come across maybe a beautiful woman, she could run laps around you. Maybe, maybe the individual's not used to it. And you know, there goes that scarcity thing. The scarcity thing again. If, you, if you're not used to getting that, all right, you're doing anything to keep her and you're willing to bend, bend mold. And the worst possible thing you could do is put her before the truth. And this happens time in and time out, man. Time in and time out. That's how come when the apostle of the Gabar said, look, brothers, you know, you, the, one of the best things to do is just get you a harlot, all right? If there's no options, I'll say. If you have options, man, if you have options, bro, chicks that are harlots, they don't really be popping you the same as a chick that, you know, you've got back differently because for them, it's more of a job. It's very transactional. You know, sometimes you don't want to rush transactional. You know what I mean? You want some... Bro, to, you know, you know, how, brothers, look, man, you know the difference. If you do, if you don't know the difference, there is a difference between a harlot and some chick you back generally. But if there's no option there, just you know, boom, pay for it, man. You know what I'm saying? Men that have have problems or or anti paying it, one, in the scripture, there's, there's men of the Lord that dealt with harlots, and two, like you really probably just don't value your time. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we all pay for it. Even if you wife a chick up, you're paying for it, right? It's an investment. How do you want to invest your time? And this truth requires time. And women want time. So there goes the war. You know? There goes the war. A war between the flesh and the spirit. The spirit is associated with the truth. And the woman, she's carnal by nature. Just look at the way she's built. You know, you look at a woman, you get carnal thoughts goes with the flesh so that they create that duality and satan knows this and satan will, will set you up that way you know you had this one guy he was in the truth he was in the truth for like 10 years over 10 years he gets his first piece of ass and he's talking about he only wants one woman in the kingdom you see what i'm saying he know all them scriptures he knew all them scriptures 10 years seeing people fall out of a woman gets his first piece of ass and he's saying shit like that so that, that's the difference, brothers, between knowing the scriptures, all right? Knowing the scriptures and, 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 and actually living them, right? And, and in closing, the apostle also mentioned about brothers that are eunuchs. I'll, I'll say this much, again, speaking as a man, know your spirit. Know your spirit, bro. You know, I'm not the type of brother that I, I'm a... I can't do that, you know? I'll get more distracted not getting laid because it's going to be on my mind more all right so i'd rather you know i know my spirit now if a brother is blessed with that lot and you had examples in the scriptures of brothers that were eunuchs right the apostle paul ezra scripture says the most i was pleased with ezra's chastity from his youth that spirit is not granted to many you know what i'm saying men for the most part we desire sex with so much testosterone. We desire way more than women. You know, we just we just want, you know what I'm saying? So I know my spirit. I'm not going to put myself in that predicament where I'm thirsting it and just trying to be like those brothers. I'm going to try to, you know, that could also fuck you up. See what I'm saying? So that's good advice, as the apostle said, from my personal experience as a man that could do this. this I'll just say, look, I, I'm just, it's better to be caught up in the word. And if that's, if that's you, brother, that's a blessing to you. But speaking as a man to brothers... All right, if that is not you, don't force it. What does it say in the in the Apocrypha, the Book of Ecclesiasticus? Force not the course of the river. All right. Ultimately, brothers, in closing and summing everything up, my experiences, the scriptures, and my advice to brothers: find a woman that dictate and doesn't dictate. Say it one more time: find a woman that dictate and doesn't dictate. If you can find that. And she could prove that for a good period of time and don't fuck with you in the truth, then deal with her. You know what I'm saying? If that's if that is not the lot, then our primary focus here is the truth. You know what I'm saying? All that stuff is gonna come in the kingdom regardless, to the point that we're gonna be beating them off of us, man. 
brothers that get a lot of, of ass, you know what happens, right? You chase it. Once you smash it, you get bored with it. You want more, right? So you, when you have, you're going to, by, by, in the kingdom with this new body, the testosterone, bro, man, you're going to have the baddest shit going up to you. Like, man, I, already, I want something different now. You know what I'm saying? This is how it's going to be. So much abundance. That's not going to even be on your mind. You know? All right, so, I, hey, man, I know it's a bit over, over the place. I hope there was some um, life lessons that I've personally had so far um, without giving out too much personal information that could help you, brothers, that are navigating between the bullshit that these women that, that these women are on here in the Western countries. You brothers, that's part of the, in Eastern Europe and the islands that might be going through different. That the women over there is still a bit more traditional. But over here in the West, it, it could be a heavy burden on brothers, man. As a man, you want to release. And you might be broke, right? Because all this ain't free. So this shit could weigh on your mind. It could get annoying. So, hey, man. It's a part of the hell of being here. And I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashim HaKadash. Double answer to the apostles and the elders of great millstone with true well. Salutations to the hopeful elect out there. You Akim to Zadakim that do this thing in the ammo. Truth and sincerity. Shalom, brothers.